What's up guys? Millennium Legends, Chris Heat here, and today I have for you a Raphael Waking the Dragons deck profile. And this would be one of my more favorite character deck profiles. Uh, one of my favorite decks to play, actually. And we getting or getting into it, we start off with the Guardian Eatos. We play three of these. Raphael's boss monster. Uh, this would be one of his more sacred cards. Um, he's got a strong relationship with a lot of his Guardian cards, but uh, Guardian Eatos being like his staple, you know, um, every character's usually got that one staple, 2500 monster. So this is his. Uh, we run three of these. Really, really simple there. Um, from that, oop, bumped the camera there, but uh, Guardian Dread Scythe. And then some of his other staple Guardian monsters. We have Guardian Growl, Guardian Seal, Guardian Bow, Guardian Trice, which he does not play. Um, I don't think he plays Bow either, but uh, Alma and KS. These all, all six of these. Oh, if the, the sleeves I use, so, all right, so I have to use these sleeves, you know, the, with the seal of Oricalcos, I mean, it's essential. So there we go. That, that's a better way to, to pair up these monsters. But yeah, the six of them, uh, more of his staples, guardian monsters. And from there, these are some choices I made uh, in this deck uh, regarding the rest of our monster lineup. I play two arsenal summoners. Uh, flip monster effect, so you can select one card that includes Guardian in its name, um, you know, from your deck and add it to your hand, except for some of the uh, cards that it lists, you know, like Guardian, uh, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, number one and number two, uh, Guardian of the Labyrinth, but, so it's a, it's a nice way to get some of your Guardian monsters if you need them. Also for draw power, uh, I run in this deck... Three Dark Mimic 1s and three Dark, Min uh, Dark Mimic level 3s. Just for some draw power. Um, also just, you know, some stuff that you can throw on the field to buy yourself some time. And, and character deck duels. A card like that is uh, necessary. I run two Violin Ohm. Uh, this is to get some of the equip spell cards maybe that you end up discarding or uh, that are in your graveyard. Um, you know, you can add those back to your hand. And the final monster I run in this deck is Guardian Angel Joanne. I figured it fits. I've always, when I built, like, a, my little version of a Raphael deck many, many, many moons ago, I included, I always included Guardian Angel Joanne. I think it fits. It really, I think it really fits. It's the, the whole Guardian aspect to it. Um, it may not fit in terms of some of the other other guardian cards, but I feel like it is a um, it's just a card that fits in my world, and I like it. You know, a twenty eight hundred monster, um, not can't. I mean, you know, st standalone wise, all right. Uh, when you factor in like, cards like Guard Guardian Eados's effect and Dread Sight's effect, you know, the, they can bump up their uh, their their attack, you know, uh, so much. So. But yeah, Guardian Angel Joanne, not a bad fit. Uh, two Seal of Ori Calcos with one Terraforming. I don't think much more needs to be said about these. Also, I uh, talked about Equip Spell Cards. There's a lot. So most of the Guardians have their own Equip Spell Card. It's pretty cool. So we have Celestial Sword Iatos. Gravity Axe uh, Growl, I botched that name, uh, Shooting Star Bo Ciel, Twin Swords of Flashing Light uh, Trice, Wicked uh, Breaking Flameberg Bow, Rod of Silence KS, and Butterfly Dagger Alma, Reaper Scythe Dread Scythe. Those would be, I mean, yeah, each, each monster literally has their own equip spell. Eight equip spell cards. Um, 
For fun and for a little extra draw power, I threw in Lucky Iron Axe. Nothing crazy, but it is there. Um, another card that Raphael ran was Guarded Treasure. He also ran Swords Revealing Light and Monster Reborn. And a couple other spell cards I threw in here. Uh, since we have so many equip spell cards, um, Vylon Matter, a uh, little extra draw power. Also for draw power, Pot of Avarice. And Mystical Space Typhoon is the last spell card we, we run. And then for traps, it's not a crazy lineup. Dust Tornado, Magic Cylinder, and Mirror Force, and Skull Lair. The Skull Lair is for... Uh, to get some cards out of your graveyard. Um, reason why, I believe it was... Is either Dread Scythe or... Uh, one of the, it was one of the uh, Guardian Monsters. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'd have to go back and read all their effects. Um, I know I threw that in there because one of the Guardian Monsters relies on some stuff getting uh, removed from play. So I figured Skull Air would be a little, little nice touch. Not necessary, but uh, for the most part, that is my Raphael Waking the Dragon's Deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun building this deck. This is one of my more favorite decks to run because it's it's really based off of the theme of Guardians. Um, you know, there's a lot of character decks that are kind of random and thrown together. Um, you know, even the main characters, you know, they have their one staple monster. Like Yugi's got the Dark Magician. You know, he's got Dark Magician Girl, Magician of Black Chaos. But outside of that, it's it's a lot of random monsters that don't really fit with a, with a theme. And, you know, all, all the monsters in here fit with that Guardian theme. So that's one of the real reasons I love this deck. Um, I hope to be getting to some character deck profile duels. I'd love to do that. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see that with some of the decks we've created so far. And I'm in the works of a lot of other decks. Um, be on the lookout for those. They're just taking some time to get together. Um, you know, if I could buy every single card out there, I would to put this stuff together. But I have to kind of wait over time to establish some of these decks. And But... Yeah, I think that's about it. Check out the channel for some awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Well, we uh, do a lot of different Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. We also have some really cool gaming videos here on the channel. Um, we just finished up Madden 17. We're playing through Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 right now. We're playing through Pokemon Leaf Green, uh, doing a Nuzlocke on that. And we're playing through some Call of Duty 4. Gonna start doing some Infinite or Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare. I think it's Infinite, uh, the, the two games confused the shit out of me um yeah we're gonna start playing some some more of that and be on the lookout for some some other cool call of duty stuff I, uh, there's some stuff in the works right now maybe playing through some zombie stuff i think that'd be kind of fun and uh the the dlc for xenoverse 2 is almost on its way out so we're gonna try and uh we're gonna try and get through a lot of that gonna try and might try and and 100 percent that game in terms of getting all the different achievements and stuff so we may try for that. It doesn't seem that difficult. I was going through them the other day. But, all right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm just I'm just trying to give you guys some options if you want to check out the channel. There's a lot of cool stuff. Give, give it a look. Uh, you're bound to find something that you like. So, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Until then, you guys take care, and you guys have a great day.